So for today, we're going to be covering the challenges for week seven. If you guys don't know if this is your first video, I usually cover the challenges each week. So that way for people who are not in front of their uh, computer or console, they can check out what, what it's up. And I also give tips and what I would be doing for these. I also look at Eververse at the, at the half of the video. So if you guys are interested in Eververse, I will have the port, I will have it portioned out. So that way you guys can just skip to it. But yeah, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me because a huge portion of people are not actually subscribed. So again, if you can do me a favor, subscribe, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, but other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we have Sorrow Bound 7. Complete Bound in Sorrow 7 and defeat champions within the Derelict Leviathan. Again, this one's not going to be too hard. The only one that kind of gets me is the champions. I don't remember them there being a lot of champions. Unless the new Derelict mission that we have actually has a lot of uh, champions either way this might take you the whole season uh because we've had a few challenges that have been taking a long time like like leviathan's chest uh, throne roll activities a lot a lot of these uh take a long time to complete so just be aware that some of these you're just not going to complete right now unless you just uh bite the pillow and do it uh nullifying re reconciliation uh complete sever reconciliation uh, using only a void subclass and void kinetic or stasis weapons. Again, just make sure you're using the void subclass and for void kinetic and or stasis, I would actually use a stasis for, or no, no, I would use a kinetic weapon, no, no burn, uh, a void weapon, and then a stasis weapon, uh, for your heavy. So that's what I would be doing. And if there is a scythe in that one, cause I don't remember, don't pick it up because that actually counts as solar. Uh, shape of nightmares 2 shape any haunted weapon uh, This one depending on if how your RNG is you might have a weapon that you can make if not like me I I've, actually I do have one. I think I can make the glaive uh, Just make it and erase it if you want I'm gonna make the glaive and just erase it because I don't really care about the glaive uh, Binding 2 throughout the season of the haunted bind nightmares after completing tier 3 of the nightmare containment and open opulent chests on the derelict leviathan uh, again this is part of the season. If you've been running the containment stuff, then this one should be pretty simple. You have to at least do it 15 times, which is, I don't know. Some people don't like it. I'm personally like, I just turn my brain off and just do it. But I do understand that it's kind of a uh, terrible uh, defeat. Oof, defeat targets and with trace rifles and shotguns and gamut bonus progress defeated uh, for defeated guardians. This one might be slept on by a lot of people, which is fair considering people don't like Gambit. I'm probably going to do it because I actually do play Gambit to the point where I already have uh, I already have the the title the fifth time. I'll show you guys after we're done with this. Uh, fleeting glo Glory, complete Crucible matches in Glory rank playlist, earn bonus progress for wins. This one, it kills me because I don't like doing this one. I don't like going into the Glory rank playlist because it's just boring to me. Uh, because I don't I am personally not that into PvP where I would go into it, but It's easy bright dust unfortunately, which is why I'm thinking about doing it And then last but not least Grandmaster complete any nightfall strike on Grandmaster this one Depending on what the nightfall is with or actually we're pretty much done. So let's actually check it out. What is the nightfall this week because uh, I There is double double loot this week coming out too it is Arcadian Valley, which is Proving Grounds. Uh, this one is, if I remember correctly, this is the one with the big scion in the, in the at the end. Uh, I've heard I've heard good things. I've heard it's really easy. All nightfall loot drops are doubled. I actually don't know what this week's drop is, so depending on what the actual drop is, I might actually do it because if it's the sniper rifle, I might actually do it. Um, also, let me show you guys real quick. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, gil gil I've gilded this five times since, since the gilding has actually been a thing. So I do play quite a bit of Gambit. For Eververse, we're looking at Seven Sisters, which is... I'm not the biggest fan of this shader personally, but it, if you want to have like a space uh, stars look, you guys can see on the, on the cloth right there, there is like stars. And even on the blue one as well. So it's really cool. It's just, it doesn't look good with what I'm wearing right now. Uh, then we have springtime scales, which I'm not the biggest fan of. This is literally just a texture on the actual weapon itself. It doesn't change a lot of it, if anything. Uh, Rocket stomp, which 
I don't really care for. And then we get to the, the heartbreak and stuff. So we get Sunrise Saber, which for some of you, you might actually like this. I don't really give a fuck about this ornament. Uh, then we have the Cathara Tadai Filigree, which is basically an ornament for for the Celestial. I, mean, I got it just because why not? But then we have the Titan and Warlock, which I'll show you guys right now. So I am actually a big fan of the Titan one, which is why I immediately scooped it up and the Warlock one as well, because I am not the biggest fan of the base look of, I'm not the biggest fan of Ophidian Aspects, just base look. So that one's gonna be used a lot by me. Then we have Prized Ivory. This is the one I missed out on because they never sold it for Bright Dust and I refuse to buy shit for real money. So for me, I was really excited for this one that came out. Then we have Ninny Project, which I think it's uh, the Vanguard thing. And then you click it and then it shows off, which is pretty cool. And then All Alone, which is a really cool uh, emote. This is one of my more favorite emotes. And for the shaders, we have Nectar Dynamo again. This shader comes out so many times. Again, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of this just because red and purple, just a red, purple and blue, just it's such a weird combination for me. Uh, Byzantine Lotus, again, this shader comes up so many times in this rotation. I feel bad for people who are actually looking for new shaders. Um, Coastal Suede, which this one that also comes up a bit, uh, which is unfortunate. And then Temperature Wash, which not the biggest fan of this red white and blue yeah okay so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh i have a lot of fashion videos to do because people have been asking for specific exotics for me to do i will have the the weekly mission up soon as well because i haven't done that yet so i have a lot of content coming up for destiny 2 and again as a reminder if you guys want to see me do a certain exotic let me know in the comments below i'll be more than happy to do it if you guys are interested in something else like maybe you want to see specific themed uh armor set like maybe you want to see a tactical look if you want to see a tactical look i've already made a video on that but if you want me to use specific piece pieces or anything like that just let me know i'm i'll be more than happy to do it but be safe and i'll see you guys later